All right, so JavaScript format semicolons. The defines handling of optional semicolons requires using TypeScript 3.7 or newer in the workspace. And you have three options here. Ignore, um, which means don't insert or remove any semicolons. Insert, so force semicolons and remove unnecessary semicolons. Now, um, this pertains to the automatic semicolon insertion uh, feature that JavaScript has, and it's quite dangerous to use it because it introduces a bunch of exceptions. So what I'm trying to say is that if you don't use semicolons by default, it's okay in JavaScript, except when it's not. And the problem is when it's not, you, and you really need to have a semicolon there. I can just give you a quick example before we go into this setting. So if you have something like a function and this function returns uh, an object and you happen to have the object on another line, like so, something like that, uh, what happens is that Automa uh, automatic semicolon insertion will add the semicolon here, right? And this means that the function will return and you will not return this, uh, this object. And obviously this is a problem. So um, if you always insert semicolons, you would insert it here and JavaScript would know that you actually want to return this object. Now, um, because automatic semicolon insertion um, is available, uh, you are not you don't necessarily have to have semicolons unless you really ne need to, like in this example that I just showed you. Uh, but the insertion of those exceptions makes it harder for you to correctly program JavaScript, and you have really crazy exceptions that you need to be be aware of. So, long story short my suggestion is um, always insert semicolons so you, you don't run in those exceptions and your code is clean so this is what i'm going to leave this option with